Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Daphne from Crafty Dust and in today's video we are flipping a traditional Greek Cypriot desk from the 50s. I am super excited about today's video. I've been wanting to do this makeover since I first laid eyes on this desk. It used to belong to Alex's grandparents who I think purchased it around the 50s. It was one of the first pieces of furniture they bought after they got married and it's been in the family ever since. It is simply beautiful but it's a little bit weathered and distressed and I think that with a little bit of love, some fresh paint and some small upgrades I can bring it back to life. Okay now the stakes are high, I hope I don't mess it up. So without further ado let's get started into today's project. Okay so we're in the garage right now and I just wanted to quickly show you the desk to show you the condition in which is in and as you guys can see it is not in the best condition but it's not in the worst condition at the same time there's a few scratches here and there a few stains that i have no idea what they're from a few cigarette burns it's chipped on that right corner over there and a little bit here and here and also on that left leg over here also if you look inside the drawers there's a lot of ink stains, there's a lot of stamps inside and a sticker. I'm gonna remove these and I'm gonna remove the doorknobs. So basically I'm just gonna replace each drawer with one knob in the middle instead of these two and the lock for the key. I quite like these doorknobs so I think I'm gonna keep these ones. I'm just gonna spray paint them. Can we all agree that this curved side is so cool and it gives this whole desk such character and I wanted to show you my absolute favorite part of this desk because it makes it so unique there is a hidden drawer in here and I absolutely obviously that's not its key but I need to pull it out and there's this hidden drawer in here I love it this makes it so unique, really. It's just so cool. If I had this desk as a teenager, the amount of things I would have hidden in there, like, I don't know, a lot probably. But this is so cool. But let's go ahead and start disassembling this beautiful desk. Let's go. hardware is removed I'm going to add wood filler on the distressed areas as well as the two drawers and the door let's go Hello from voiceover Daphne. To remove any sticker from your wooden pieces of furniture, just add some WD-40, then leave it on for 10 minutes and then scrape it off with a filler spatula. It's best if it's a plastic one so you don't damage the wood. staining the surface so I need to bring the wood down to its original color and I am first using a wood stain remover. Make sure you always wear protective equipment when working with this product as it can cause cancer. See how it's already starting to bubble up? It's been sitting for maybe like 10 minutes. And after 20 minutes, I am scraping off the surface with a plastic scraper and most of the shine is coming off, but the stain is still there. 
So then I tried a steel wool, but that made very little difference. So I took out the big guns, my electric sander, and sanded it with an 80 grit sandpaper. Mind you, that took a few hours to bring it down to its original wood color. Once the surface was sanded, I went ahead and sanded the rest of the desk as well as its compartments and finally I wiped everything with a clean cloth. For primer, I am using the Luxence Undercoat Primer for wood and I am applying a thin layer on the areas I will be painting. And then I am going in with the opal color from Benjamin Moore. I finally found Benjamin Moore paints in Cypress and honestly, I could not be happier. This is an off-white color. It's the lightest color in the pink section, so there's a very pretty pink undertone. Okay, so that you guys is the result of one layer of base coat and two layers of paint. Honestly, I think I'm going to apply a third layer as well. You can see the stain from the ink over here very, very clearly. It's not going away. I'm pretty sure I should have removed this with perhaps white spirit before I applied the base coat. That sucks. I think this is gonna stay. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the third coat and I'm pretty sure you don't wanna see me doing that so I will do it off camera. Then I spray painted the hardware with a golden spray paint and now I am ready for wood stain. I don't like this. Alex is trying to convince me that it's going to dry down lighter and less red, but it's too red. So while the third coat is drying down, I just wanted to quickly mention that I really do not like this wood stain color. It's too orange and it has to go. So I found this walnut wood stain and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that because it is a lot darker and I think the contrast will be better and it is way less orange. So hopefully it's going to be the right decision because I don't have another wood stain. And I also hope that the walnut wood stain will cover all the imperfections on the surface that the live oak wouldn't cover. Okay, let's go. I think it's a lot better than the one before, but I definitely need to apply like at least two more coats to see the actual result. Okay guys, change of plans. Clearly this project is going really, really well. These are the spray painted knobs. They're very pretty, but I also found these hexagon knobs I used in one of my past projects. I had some spare ones and I actually really, really like these. I think they're going to give a more modern vibe to the traditional desk. And I think this contrast will be really interesting. So I'm actually gonna go ahead with these ones, but 
let me know which one you guys prefer in the comment section down below I can always change them but let me show you before I move on so this is the corner drawer and these are the old knobs and these are the new knobs. I'm gonna continue with these ones. I've made up my mind now. So let's go ahead and attach these ones. Let's go. Okay, are you guys ready for the final reveal? Yeah! Let's go! Three, two, one! I cannot describe to you guys how happy I am that this project is finally over. Such projects definitely need a lot of patience and they can be very time consuming, so keep in mind that you might need a long weekend to complete it. Nevertheless, I absolutely love the final result. I was a little bit skeptical along the way, but once everything was reassembled, I was very pleased. And given the fact that this is a 70 year old desk and the wood is is very distressed and weathered, I think I did the best I could. Honestly, I think the knobs make a huge difference and that's my advice to you guys. If you don't have enough time or don't want to make so many changes to your old furniture, just change the knobs because they really do make a massive difference. Nevertheless, I think this is a fun and creative way to upgrade your furniture or furniture you've grown out of and it is definitely a better alternative to throwing away your furniture and buying new ones because if you spare a little bit of your time or maybe in this case a lot of your time you can create something unique and customize it according to your liking especially now that working from home is becoming the new norm an office desk makeover can definitely spice up and change the mood of your workspace so let me know what you guys think about this project in the comment section down below i would love to hear your opinion and feedback on it and last but not least don't forget to like this video if you did like it and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a member of the crafty dust family and also click on that notification bell to get notified whenever a new video comes up and finally don't forget to share this video with your friends and family or those you think would enjoy such DIY thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye